deciding what she's going to do because she sings and plays so many instruments and, you know, she had to decide. So you are going to have a wonderful evening of music. Um, I'm just going to read a little bit from Psalm 27 at Caitlin's request and open us in prayer, and then we will invite her on stage. Psalm 27 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then will I be confident. So Lord, I just pray that you would give Caitlin confidence that you would give her um, light. You are her light and her salvation. Um, and tonight she is a light to us as she shares her love of music with us. Um, I thank you so much for her, for the character that you have built up in her, um, for the skill that she has so diligently honed. And I pray tonight that she would be able to just freely uh, communicate all of the passion that is within her that comes from you. You are a good God, you are a beautiful God, um, full of artistry and creativity. And I just uh, pray that Caitlin would um, just have great joy as she shares this with us tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah. Welcome, the one and only. Yeah. Caitlin yeah. Thank you. 
Hi, welcome. Thank you for all for coming. It's so good to see so many familiar faces from different walks of life. Um, this next song I'm going to be playing is Nocturne in E flat by Chopin. Uh, once I start playing it, you probably recognize that the title doesn't do it justice. Um, but I'd like to dedicate this song to my mom because uh, whenever I play this song, I always envision Eiffel Tower in Paris. And for the first time, I'm actually going to live that dream. I'm going to Paris with my mom, like, tomorrow. <laughs> so this is like a dream come true for me, and so I want to dedicate this to her.
to start the second half. Yeah. Um, this next song is quite long, so I apologize. Um, it's the Pathetique by Beethoven, and it's three movements, so it's like three separate songs played in succession. Um, and with them, I also put something on the board for you. Um, I put memory verses to each um, movement. So the first movement is uh, on the board. Can you switch to it, Hannah, so I can just see? I'm forgetting what I put up there. Oh, there it is. Um, so the first passage is out of John. The second passage is out of Luke, and it's Mary's testimony of what God has done in her life. And then the third movement is out of, uh, I can't remember. Yes, David. It's out of Psalm 27. So you can follow along on the screen, and each verse has been put to a certain section of the music. So I hope you enjoy that.
chickens and we own ducks so we own a lot of farm animals so this next song is kind of what it is like around our house although not the animals are not always making these sounds <laughs> but it's been a huge part of my life for the past four years. So we just wanted to play a little song for you. This is a quintet by Johann Christian Bach, who is not the original Bach that you would think. It's his son. Um, so here's this song, and it's featuring some of my best friends.
There we go. All right, so we're going to transition to the last two songs in the program. Uh, but before we do that, I just want to hand out some thank yous. Um, Ziggy and Dalton, thank you for doing sounds. <laughs>
us if you're able. And we're going to close out this time with um, God be with you till we meet again. Um, I don't know if you know this, but my family, I grew up uh, Mennonite. And so at the end of each service, we would close out the service with this song. And so if you would sing this with us, that would be awesome. God be with you till we meet again By his counsels God uphold you With his sheep securely fold you God be with you till we meet Ensemble piece that you worked on? 
That's really hard because I enjoy a lot of them. Probably this one actually, the one that we did today. I, um, it was kind of funny because when we started this semester, we were like, we have so many different instruments. Like you notice, they're very unusual. It's an oboe and a flute and a violin and a viola and a piano. And we're like, well, there's going to be nothing written for that conglomeration of instruments. And Morgan, our violin instructor, she actually found something. Yeah. <laughs> Probably my favorite. That's excellent. All right. Um, I remember four years ago, that year we had three incoming uh, piano performance majors. Um, and I kind of, we kind of, the three musketeers, we kind of talked about them. Savannah, it was you, and yeah, they Monica, there they are. Um, and so I just remember back the first few years, you guys just were inseparable. You know, you kind of just, I'd go to the class, and you guys were laying on the tables in the piano lab. And, Correction, and, Monica was laying on the tables. <laughs> Uh, your favorite moment with the with the three musketeers? Uh, there was so many. It was uh, it was funny because Savannah and I actually weren't friends when we all hung out together the first semester. Um, yeah, we were not. She was scary. That's why. I was scary. Well, we did not hang out together. Anyway, um, I would say our favorite moment together. We went horseback riding. Um, like was it a year ago? Yeah. Something like that. We went horseback riding, and that was probably. I enjoy horses, and one of you had never been on a horse. I don't remember which one. It was Annika. Yeah. So that was probably my favorite favorite moment. But there were lots. There were lots. Yes. Um, next year, what are you doing? I don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> me but this recital is like the only thing on my radar for a very long time um you're up what you're up yeah um i would say that i'm going to work really hard for auditions for a master's program um because auditions are in december so i'm going to work hard for a master uh to for a collaborative degree a master's in that and hopefully teach at a university level at some point all right one more question um Imagine this scenario, um, it's 10 years from now, uh, I'm driving as what I usually do up to Canada in July, and I'm passing through Montana, and Twyla and I decide to have coffee in St. Helens, uh, St. Helens. Um, and we go to a coffee shop, and you and Savannah are there, you're visiting Annika, <laughs> who, is, who is living on a farm, <laughs> she has five kids, and there's probably six on the way. And I come up to your table and say, hey guys, how are you doing? What's happening in your life at that time? Um, I would say probably a professional mu uh, music degree. I would still be singing with my family, hopefully. And hopefully married, because there's no one in the picture at this point. So. <laughs> <laughs> in 10 years, I'm married, so no one. Let's talk about you a little bit. Um, uh, again, I was, uh, this week I was kind of thinking about things to say, you know, and I've just been reminded about the last four years, and, uh, and all, the, all the memories that I have are really, really just very, very positive memories of you, and I just remember of moments that you are around the building and how helpful you are. Uh, you really have a servant heart that just is wonderful. I gotta say, it's the things that you do, the things that you help out, you just kind of bring sunshine to everybody's life. Yeah. Um, I really appreciate your, spirit. And, um, I really your spirit. I appreciate your spirit and kind of how you're just willing to help. You're a very humble servant, and you're just willing to be able to give a hand wherever it is. And I think that's the wonderful blessing to God. Mm -hmm. And uh, Amen. keep that, keep being humble, but you also need to be out there and keep working on what you're doing. You're a wonderful talent. God's going to be using you in great ways. One of the things we also do is we uh, are going to have a cushioning prayer for uh, Kaylee. And so we're going to invite people down and lay hands on her and we'll just give her a prayer.